Okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, head over to um, an empty folder on your computer, right? So make sure that you have um, the view CLI installed. And uh, if you don't know what that is, um, have a look at my other series, which I did on Vue.js, where I showed how to um, make use of that and install it, okay? So when you have that installed, when you type view, um, you should get these um, list of options available to you, right? So our project is going to be um, Vue.js slider tutorial so we're gonna have to say view in it and then we're gonna have to say webpack and webpack is the template that we're using so there are different templates you can use to create a new view um, application but um, this one is a great one to use okay so view in it webpack and then the name of your project in this case uh, view JS slider tutorial Okay, so um, I'll press enter and then that will go ahead and boost up our project. Okay, so now that um, the new template has been downloaded and um, a project has been created for us, we're going to have to go inside of our project folder. So do cd and then view um, js um, slider tutorial. Okay, so basically that's um, going to get you in the folder and then one thing you have to do is to npm um, install. That will install the npm dependencies. Okay. So I'll press enter and then we'll let that finish. And okay, so now that that has um, installed the uh, npm packages, so let's do npm run dev, okay, to start our local development server. So I'm gonna do that. Right, so it says running at localhost 8080. Let's um, copy that URL and head over to our browser and then um, view it there. What the new ARM um, project that was bootstrap for us. So here I am in an empty browser window, so I'm going to click um, enter that. And um, if everything works fine, you should see hello world, all right? So that means that our new project has been bootstrapped successfully. Okay, so I've gone ahead and um, opened the newly created project in uh, our text editor, which is Visual Studio Code, right? So let's have a look at the important folder. So in this, um, the source folder where all our um, project files are going to live, we have um, a component called hello world okay so we don't need this hello world component we need our own component and we're gonna need two which are actually three but one has been created for us which is update view and uh, we need two more which is slides which is going to contain all of the slides and then we need a slide container which will be representing a single slide okay so just to show um, a quick plan on how to do components all you have to do is inside a components folder just do new file and give the name of the component in this case slides and then give it an extension of view okay so each component has to have template a scripts part and uh, optionally a css part in this case let's say template and then we close it oh sorry about that okay so in here is going to be our html Right, so let's do div dot slides and we'll have a div with a class of slides and let's just put there slides will be here okay so i'm gonna save that and then after i'm gonna come and create a scripts tag okay and um, you don't need to give any um, properties to that Vue.js will know how to um, work with that and then let's do export default and, um, just an object and um, yeah okay so let's just leave it as it is right now um, I'll explain what that is in a moment and since we need to style our application let's create a style part so let's do style and then let's make it scoped okay so basically what the scope is saying is any style in here applied only to this template so Vue.js is very clever it has some mechanism where in you can um, have styles for a single component so any styles in here will not affect any other component in the application all right so we save that so let's go to our app dot view dot um yeah and in here as you can see um the main application um, component is making use of the hello component that was created here all right so we do not need that so let's delete it so i'm gonna right click here and just delete move to trash okay so let's come here and modify this hello to be slides so let's um, import from dot forward slash components slides 
and um, you have to tell that component that you want to use this component inside of its template so let's um, put here the imported component yeah so uh, this component app dot view knows about the slides component okay so um let's go ahead and delete all the styles in here so i'm gonna do that and um the only style we need is for the app so i'm gonna do app and i'm gonna do max width of um 900 pixels okay so that is just concise and um yeah, so let's head over to the template here for our application. As you can see, it has one main uh, div with an ID of app. So let's clear every content in there. And um, let's use our slides component. So let's do slides because we imported it down here as slides. So we have access to it here. So for slash slides. Okay. So I'm going to save that. If everything works fine, we should have uh, the template for this slides. It's saying slides will be here um, being shown in our browser window. Okay. So here I am in the browser and as you can see, it says slides will be here. Okay. So that means that we have created our first component and um, we're ready to go.